Hey guys, I hope you're having fun at the bridal shower. I just wanna point out how not awkward it is that I'm filming myself, but I hope you enjoy this video. Kelly and I informally met at our friend Kyle and Anna's wedding about two years ago now in May of 2015. Kyle had reached out to me and asked me to be his videographer and Kelly was Anna's maid of honor. Uh, but the funny thing is, is we really didn't say much of anything at all to each other the whole day, other than the fact that Kelly, uh, I think at one point said, hey, Anna's getting ready over there. You should probably go over there now. It wasn't until uh, after the wedding that our other mutual friend, Michelle Olivier, actually reached out to Kelly and um, I'm not sure how the conversation went, but uh, told her to get in contact with me. So that's how we met. So our first date was on July 24th, 2015. Uh, I drove down to Kelly and we went to uh, La Vida Cantina Mexican restaurant in Costa Mesa. Um, Kelly will probably tell you that she was very talkative the whole night and wouldn't let up for air. But in retrospect, uh, I'm kind of glad she was uh, because I would have just been like, hi. Do you like me? So I'm kind of glad uh, that she had a lot to talk about and it led to some pretty interesting conversations. So that was where our first date was. My first impression of Kelly was that she was very talkative, but not in a bad way. Um, in fact, quite the opposite. Uh, I just appreciated that she had a lot to talk about and it allowed me to get to know her a lot better. Our first kiss was on the night of Thursday, August 13th, 2015. Kelly and I went to the Chris Young concert at the Orange County Fair. Up until that day, we hadn't even held hands yet. So I remember we got to the fair and I just mustered the courage to grab her hand um, we saw the concert, and when I took her home that night, I just remember thinking, you know, what the heck, let's go for two in one night. Um, so I asked Kelly if I could kiss her goodnight, and she let me. Um, so that's when we had our first kiss. Kelly's favorite movie. Oh, uh, gosh. That's a tough one. Okay, I really hope this is not a trick question. I don't think Kelly has an annoying habit per se, but I've noticed that she has a tendency to second guess herself a lot and um, she can be hard on herself at times when she doesn't have to be. My favorite date with Kelly was the time we visited our friends Kara and Caleb in uh, Montana. Uh, in September 2016. Um, we flew into Billings and uh, Kara and Caleb just showed us around Montana. Uh, we got to go through Yellowstone with their dog Gus um, and just had a really fun time. But the best part was Kara got up super early on our last day to take us back to the airport and when we got on the airplane the pilot comes on and says something to the effect that someone forgot to charge the battery. So we had to get off the airplane and the airline paid to put us in this hotel and we were stuck in Billings, Montana for an extra day than we planned. But it was cool because it allowed us to just kind of be spontaneous and, you know, be adventurous and uh, we rented a car and I remember Kara telling us something about um, this rock outside of Billings that Lewis and Clark like carved their name into hundreds of years ago. And uh, I, I really wanted to go see that. So we just kind of drove out there and we got there and it was closed. But we got a picture of us uh, standing by the entrance to this rock. Uh, so I think that was my favorite date. My favorite place that we have traveled to together has definitely been New York. 
Um, I had never been to New York before, so over Memorial Day weekend, uh, we went out there and we really didn't have anything planned. Um, we ended up seeing uh, Chicago and Phantom of the Opera. Um, but the best part was the day we took the um, Liberty Island and Ellis Island tour. Um, if you've never done that tour before, the way it works is you go to this park super early in the morning and wait in line for this ferry that takes you over to Liberty Island first. You get off and go up Statue of Liberty, you go back down and wait in line for the ferry. It picks you up and takes you to Ellis Island next. But by the time you get to Ellis Island, you've already been on this tour for like two hours. So when Kelly and I got into the building at Ellis Island, we like looked at each other and we're like, I've seen enough, have you seen enough? So we just walked back to the boat and went back and got lunch. Um, but overall, I, I would say that uh, going to New York was definitely um, the best place we've traveled to together. Let's go, girls. I have had a huge crush on Shania Twain since I was like three years old. So when Kelly gave me the envelope that had the tickets in it and I opened it up, I kind of had a fangirl moment. <laughs> The best part about that concert though was that there was this like 40 year old woo girl sitting in front of us. What's a woo girl? Let me explain. A woo girl is a type of young woman who like the cuckoo bird or the whippoorwill gets her name from the signature sound she makes. And this was our view the whole night. I feel like a woman. I think the thing I'm looking forward to most about marriage is just getting to do the simple things together, um, like coming home to each other and being lazy on the weekends and, and, and just, just being together, I think is what I'm looking forward to most. If Kelly were a dance, I would say she would be the ballet, uh, just because she's very graceful and classy. This is my favorite photo of Kelly and I. Uh, last Christmas, our friend Michelle asked me to take family photos for their Christmas card, and Kelly tagged along with me. and. When we were done, I had just asked Michelle if she could take my camera and take some uh, quick pictures of Kelly and I. And they turned out like really good. Uh, so Michelle, uh, you could be a professional photographer now. <laughs>